if you're like most people, you've got a million Word documents sitting on your computer full of cool ideas. Now, why is this? Well, it's because every time you, you find something on the web or you have something sent to you, you think you have to save it, you write it out, you save it, and then you put it somewhere on your hard drive. It could be, you could have a, dozens of files, hundreds, even thousands of files. Sometimes people have them all in one huge folder. Sometimes they're organized neatly. But the case is you've got tons and tons of files that oftentimes you have to open one by one by one to find something that you're looking for. That works, but there's a better way. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Oxner. I'm the owner of YourMakingMe.com and I want to share a tool with you that I've, I love, I've personally used since 2008 and I think it's done wonders for me. Now, first of all, I want to tell you this right off the bat. When you see it, you're going to look at it and you're going to groan and you're going to say, this Kevin, this thing's ugly. So I'm delaying it, showing it to you a little bit. I want to I want to build it up a little bit. And if you're a Mac user, you're definitely going to freak out. But it's exactly what you need. It's not too little. It's not too much. It's just, just right. This program I want to talk about is called YWriter. It's really cool to use and it's very simple. I love this program and it's done a lot of great things for me. So I want to share it with you. I'm not getting paid to do this. The It's actually free software, so I, I'm not getting paid. I've never even talked to the guy who's created it. His name is is Simon Haynes, by the way. And, but this thing is totally free. There's no ads. There's no anything else. You can try it, and if you like it, what he suggests it is he would love it if you go to his website and make a donation of 5 bucks, buy an ebook, or even just spread the word. So, hey, today I guess what I'm doing is spreading the word. I love it a lot, and I want to give you a couple reasons why I think you should consider it. Let's just go into why writer and we'll get one started here. Why you should consider it. And we'll open up a new chapter. I'm going to give you a couple of quick reasons why. Now, first reason would be that you can review your material in, oh boy, I'm having trouble, in two mouse clicks. That's pretty cool. Let me show you what I mean by this. I'll go into an existing database that I have, and I can go anywhere in this database within two clicks to review. Boom, boom. I can go up to my blog stuff here. Boom, boom. Very quick, very efficient. Whereas if you have Word documents, you're sitting there double clicking. Okay, no, wrong one. Close it. Next one, next one. And you may have the script of file names, but it often helps if you can look into something and see part of the text. The second reason why I think you want to consider this is because da, 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 you can quickly add new info. This is the beauty of it for me. This is where it gets me, it gets above everything else. I can leave this open during the day or I can open it quickly, go into a database very, very quickly and enter the information, save and exit, boom, and I'm gone. Simple and easy to use. The third thing is that it consolidates all your information in one place. One of the biggest reasons why I started using this software was because I was writing a book and I kept all my book information in one place. So I'll put it in here is that it consolidates info. Fourth thing is that it creates auto backups. I'll show that a little bit later, but the whole point is that anytime you're trying to prepare, prepare something that's important, you got to make sure you back it up. This thing creates a new backup every single day or whenever you open the, the program, that particular database, it'll open, uh, it'll create an auto backup of that program or that database during that day. Very, very sweet idea. I originally came across this whole why writer thing when I was writing my book, Diamonds and Silver. Let me... I'll show you a quick uh, Amazon shot here. If you're interested in getting a hold of my book, fourteen ninety five through Amazon.com, great book, I've had amazing reviews, I love it. But I was looking, what I was doing is I, I had everything open in Word, and I actually have a, one of my old diamonds and silver Word files. What would happen is I had everything written out, I had the outline, and I went through and I started writing my book. And I, but I'd have an idea, and I'd say, "Oh, great, this is perfect for chapter eight. And then you're like, okay, where's chapter? Oh, oh, too far. Okay, back up here and then down here. And it, it made it really, really difficult to find out what I was doing and where I was working. So instead, what I did was I took this, 
unwieldy Word document as, as it got longer. This one's only seven pages. This was, I grabbed this back when I first started. But when, as I, um, when I got into to using Y-Writer, I made it a nice, it, it wasn't quite like this. I've, I've made it, this is one of the final versions of the Y-Writer that I had. But I had it and I could make different scenes. And if I had a chapter where I had ideas, I made a, a scene for ideas. And then I started writing the actual scene and it was a way for me to get anywhere in the book within two clicks. And if I wanted to edit, it's one click and one double click. If I want to get into, say, chapter five, one click to get into it and a double click. And I'm in there editing. Very, very sweet, very fast and efficient. To get your own version of Y-Writer, it's actually quite simple. Head over to your favorite search engine and type in Y-Writer. The first link should be spacejock.com slash Y-Writer. And, and the Y is actually the letter Y, not, not W-H-Y. Click on it, and then right the, before the fold, you should, should see the Download Now link. Click on that, and that'll give you an option. Y-Writer works for, for Windows, and it works for Linux. I don't know if it's been tested or not on Mac, but I think he is supposed to be working on something along those lines. In any case, have a, have a shot, download it. I... I guarantee it's going to work well for you.